Sucking up energy and information. I, I haven't seen one of these in years, not since the, the time war. That's the thing, it shouldn't exist anymore at all. Well, perhaps with the scattered time key, things could have possibly been scattered, like well, it could explain the, the swarm and, and this and, and the our time rows and this. Mysterious cardboard watch, and who knows what else? Well, at any rate, the ship will be back online now. We should be good to go in no time. Welcome aboard. Please make yourself comfortable. No, thank you. That's alright. We're not staying long. I love what you've done with the ship, by the way. You've got a lot going for you. Tractor beam, retrograde weapons. I haven't seen that in a long time. By the way, are you hearing a buzzing? I'm hearing a buzzing. Okay. Do you have a radio playing or something? Yes, I'm here too. Must be your imagination. Now, to business. <laughs> I just want my job back. Will you be so kind as to open the door? Yeah. This doesn't mean you can't come. Don't forget, this is what I do. And you could put that gun away. If we'd be dead already, it would be some value to you. Good point. Shall we test your theory? What? Complicated it is. Right? There are plenty of ways to get what I want. And you're right. The answer does lie within one point. Get it. I suggest we play a game. Game? I will walk through your designs. Your past, your futures, anything that could ever be. In time, one of you will tell me. I wonder what it will take to break you. Ah. You hide so much behind your names. The oncoming storm, the valiant, and my favorite, the man who runs. Romana, so cool, calm, collected. I wonder what lies behind that mask. Teresa. So many secrets. The demons hide in the corner of that mind of yours. That sweet lord. What is it you really want from them? From him? A friend? Love? Death? You should think twice before you're anything my friends. You won't get anything from us. We don't know anything at all. Perhaps, perhaps you know more than you want. The mind is a funny thing. It's a hell of a hell. How did you do that? Magic, magnetism, maybe he's my veto. Welcome to the mind, man. Enjoy your stay. This was a bad idea. No, no, this is worse than a bad idea. This is the worst bad idea ever. That was the worst sentence ever. I heard that, you jerk. You two, settle down. Where are we? Well, physically or philosophically? Both. Well, physically, we're probably still in Orion's ship. Philosophically, well, Orion said this was some sort of mind maze, so... In a very rudimentary sense, we're probably in the forest of our minds. Trippy. Great. This is great. I am stuck on a spaceship, in a forest, in all of your minds, while experiencing the worst hangover ever. Nice going, Justin. Oh, for the love of... It's the doctor. You know, the one thing about mazes is you have a tendency to get lost. So the deeper into the maze we'll go, the deeper into our minds we'll go. Right. And the harder it will be to escape. Right. And it will probably affect our ability to distinguish reality from fantasy. And part of Orion's plan is to separate us. 
That would make things much more complicated. Right. So, Lauren, no wandering off. What has that ever happened? Need I remind you of the time you went off trail in the Sabine home world and fell into a slime pit? <laughs> that was one time. Oh, one of many. I've got the list, actually. Shall I... Well, shit. Ugh. It's Califrey. I remember this. It's... It's the first year primary graduation day. Oh, the kids are so adorable. Don't you remember, Doctor? Yes. Wait, where, where are the girls? Oh. Lauren! Teresa! Lauren. Teresa! Lauren! Teresa! Wait, what happened to your Sonic? It gave its life to power the TARDIS. You're so dramatic. Right, here. I knew you'd do something reckless like this, so I took the liberty of storing up some reserves. There. Oh, look at you, clever girl. Am I? Never really thought about it. I... I do wonder how you got along so well without me for so long. Oh. Oh. The children, they're gone. All of them, gone. Uh, Fred. Oh, the children. Fred, I think I found them. The children, they're all gone. They're all gone. They're just gone. It's not real. It's just another illusion. The time war is over. Right, it's it's over. That's right. Uh, let's 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 go. What was that you were saying about not wandering off? Oh, shut up. So where did it lead? Of uh, another level of the maze. I don't get it. Why is Orion doing all this? He's trying to find out about the time key, right? But what the hell does he even want it for? He's just some punk. A punk with Time Lord tech. Oh, why are these things never straightforward? All right. Plan. We need a plan. Plan, plan. Oh, Planny, plan, really? plan. Oh. Downloading plan. <sighs> Fred, you got one? Uh, what, what? A plan. Oh, of course I do. Well, well, we just simply refuse to play along. Eventually, Orion will have to let us go. And how exactly are we supposed to do that? Focus on what you know to be true. He can't control us if he can't mess with our minds. Easier said than done, genius. Yes, yes, thanks for the vote of confidence, Teresa. Come on. What, did I say something? Well, it's just that he likes to think of himself as the smartest person in the room, which actually usually he is. Present company accepted. You all right? No, I'm really not. Do you have any more of that aspirin? Sorry, I left all my gear back at your place. Come on, hurry up. Just give us a second. No, go away. Go away. Doctor, doctor, let me. What is it? I do not like that face that you're making. Doctor, what do you make of it? You know, you two really need to work on your bedside manner. Uh, sorry, um, you're both fine. Nothing to worry about. Nope, try again. Uh, Lauren, you're fine. Teresa, your mind is working overtime for some reason. I'm sorry, that pen cat scanned me? What does that even mean? Well, picture a computer, a giant computer with with a giant firewall and it's keeping out all the viruses and spyware and it's going crazy trying to do it. Well, that's your mind right now. Psionic field. Great. Fantastic. Orion is generating a psionic field using the power from that disk. Oh, that is clever. Yes, and he's probably using, his, using it to keep his ship power too. It's possible. You saw how he took the disk from my hand, right? Telekinetic psionic abilities. Mm -hmm. What does psionic mean? You know, like, Eleven from Stranger Things? Well, sort of. There are some things, very few things, that even Time Lords can't explain. And, well, psionic energy, well, even if there are some species and humans and Time Lords that have elevated levels of psionic abilities, we still can't explain what it is or where it comes from. And this maze is teeming with it. So it's basically magic. No, no, no. It's much more scientifically complex than that. It's magic. 
Yes, it's magic. Run! 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 Stick together! Mark? Teresa! Teresa! Come on, what? You know, we're really bad at the staying together thing. Listen, it's okay. We'll get out of here. Just keep focusing on what's me. Yeah, sure. Jane, Ramona, since we're alone, Teresa, she's not okay. She's been drinking a lot. Right, right. I figured something like that would happen. She never had very good coping mechanisms. What are you talking about? I thought you said that those bracelets would help her. Oh, well, they did. They did. I mean, it helped her face her past. But, Lauren, Teresa's, she's had a very hard life. And, well, the thing is, um, sometimes, in order to recover from your darkness, it has to get even darker before you can, the light can dawn. I guess, but, I don't know, I'm, I'm so scared for her. I mean, I'm a paramedic, right? I'm supposed to be able to help people, but I've tried everything and I can't get through to her. She won't let me. She has to figure it out for herself. She's always been like that. But I'm sure that you have helped her a million times over just by being there for her. Thank you. You're welcome, I guess. You know, I think I said something similar to the doctor. Here, actually. Uh, oh, this where we encountered the swarm. Right, right. The doctor told me about your little adventure. Uh, you, you destroyed it with electrocution, right? <laughs> well, it was more complicated than that. Right. We uh, barely made it out alive. How did you escape it? How did you know about that? Well, I, I saw into the swarm's mind when it caught me, and it said you were dead, but I knew it was lying. And I just didn't know the details of how to escape. I just gave it a little shock with my side. <laughs> what do you mean you saw into its mind? Well, I, I don't know. I saw it. And why? Why are you asking? It's just that it, you shouldn't really be able to, to do that. <laughs> Teresa says I'm a psychic. <laughs> You're hiding something. You and the doctor again. Why do you do that? Lauren, it's nothing personal. It's it's just that the Time Lords, we we just don't always say things for your protection. Protection from what? In the galactic danger? Because that worked out real well. Right. Oh. Um, it's just that there's some things that you're not ready to hear. <laughs> so you lie for the sake of truth? I'm sorry, it just sounds kind of backwards to me. Right. I, I know. I know. I can see that you would think that. It's just, well, most of the time it works out for the best, doesn't it? Although, between you and me, the doctor, it just always ends up because he's such an idiot, right? <laughs> Tell me about it. You know, I feel like I've known you for quite a while just because we've been through so much. But I don't know like details about you? Like little things? Details? Little things. Like your favorite food, um, favorite kind of music, pet peeves. You do ask a lot of questions, <laughs> don't you? I get that a lot. You know what I can't get over is that is that you and Justin. I mean not you, but Jane and Justin have a thing. Well, that's right, but that was Justin and Jane, and that's in the past, and I'm lucky to stay there. All right, sorry I asked. No, no, it's fine. It's... Look, Lauren, if it's any consolation, I am really sorry that, that we left you there. For my part, I was just caught up in the moment. Sorry. Right. No, it's, it's not. It really isn't. Truly. And it, it is just, we do care about you. He does, and we both do. Really. Well, I do too. Well, well, you know, I don't know a lot about you either. <laughs> Tell me, do you have other family besides your mom? Uh, just like extended family back in England. Oh, really? Have you ever been there? 
No, I just went home before my dad died. Oh, uh, right. I'm sorry about that. You must really miss him. Yeah, but it's okay. It happened a while ago. But he's still with me in my heart, you know? Right, right. The ones you lose never truly leave your hearts. Ramon. Please, just tell me. Because if there's something wrong with me, then I think I deserve to know. Wrong with you? Quite the contrary. Well, then what is it exactly? Well, Lauren, it's... It's like the doctor told me. He called you the magic girl. <laughs> That's more true than... than you even imagine. What do you mean? What's happened? When I reawakened your memories, I awakened something else. Lauren, you have psionic abilities. It's true, it's true, yes. And most people go through their life that have this ability but never really use it. But you, for you, it's, it's almost extraordinary. It's, it's instinct. It's, some may call it ESP or psychic, but, but when I reawakened your memories, it, it catalyzed it into a higher level. What are you talking about? A higher level? I don't understand what you're talking about. It, I, I really, I think the doctor can explain it to you better. Why can't you just tell me? Oh. You okay? Oh my gosh, your bracelet! Your bracelet! Teresa said that you weren't wearing them. The bracelet? How did I forget about these? Well, it's the maze. It, 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 it can make you forgetful. It, it's just... It's just okay. Ready, action. <laughs> I love it. I love Oops. it.